Hello students, I am Sanjay Shirude, teacher in mathematics from Willingdon College, Sangli. Last time we have learned differentiation of implicit and explicit function. Today we are going to learn same with the help of PowerPoint presentation. Now we will continue here next example cos inverse 7 into x raised to 4 plus 5 into y raised to 4 upon 7 into x raised to 4 minus 5 into y raised to 4 equal to tan inverse a where a is constant. Now here we consider given thing cos inverse of bracket equal to tan inverse of a. Now by definition of inverse we write this as bracket is equal to cos of tan inverse a by using definition of inverse and now tan inverse a is constant therefore its cos ratio is also constant so we say it is some constant k c so this ratio is equal to k now by taking this denominator on the right hand side we get this 7 x raised to 4 plus 5 y raised to 4 is equal to k into 7 into x raised to 4 minus 5 into y raised to 4. That is 5 into y raised to 4 plus 5 k into y raised to 4. Here we multiplying on RHSC here. k into 5 y raised to 4 with negative sign becomes positive. And take this first term on the right hand side it becomes a negative and here k into 7 x raised to 4 that is 7 k x raised to 4. Here 5 into y raised to 4 is common can be taken out. In bracket we write 1 plus k. Similarly here 7 into x raised to 4 is common can be taken out. Then in bracket we write k minus 1. Then take this 5 into y plus phi u into 1 plus k on right hand side. So we get this y raised to 4 equal to 7 upon phi u into bracket into x raised to 4. And now we denote it by equation 1. And now take derivatives of both sides with respect to x. So we get d by dx of y raised to 4 equal to d by dx of 7 by phi u into k minus 1 upon k plus 1 into x raised to 4. Here we write the derivative of y raised to 4 as 4 into y cube because you know that derivative of x raised to n is n into x raised to n minus 1. So we write this 4 y cube and now we write this dy by dx. We multiplying the derivative of y raised to 4 by dy by dx by using chain rule. Now here 7 by phi into this bracket that is constant can be taken out from derivative and now derivative of x raised to 4 is 4x cube. Here take this 4y cube on that side. See here what we get dy by dx equal to 7 by phi into bracket into 4x cube upon 4y cube, 4 get cancelled from both the sides. So we write x cube upon y cube here. But here the value of 7 by phi u into bracket is y raised to 4 upon x raised to 4 from equation 1. So we substitute the value here y raised to 4 upon x raised to 4 by using equation 1. And now here y cube get cancelled x cube get cancelled. So what we get? dy by dx equal to y upon x. After simplifying this, we will get the final answer as y upon x. Now, we will continue the next example. Here, we are given the function as e to the power x raised to 7 minus y raised to 7 upon x to the power 7 plus y to the power 7 is equal to a where a is constant. Now we write the solution as given that e to the power of this bracket equal to a. Now we write this 
in logarithmic form. This is our exponential form. By rules of logarithm, by definition of logarithm, you write this in this way. Bracket is equal to log a. Now log a is constant. So you say that here, that is equal to k. k is any real number that is a constant. Now take this denominator on the right hand side. So what we get? Numerator is equal to k into denominator. Like this. So here multiplying this bracket by k. We get k into x raised to 7 plus y raised to 7 into k. Now take this second term k into y raised to 7 on left hand side. And take this x raised to 7 on right hand side. We get this. And now here minus y raised to 7 is common can be taken out in bracket we write k plus 1 similarly here x raised to 7 is a common can be taken out in bracket we write k minus 1 now our next step is y raised to 7 is equal to take this a minus k plus 1 minus into bracket k plus 1 on right hand side and then we get y raised to 7 equal to minus in bracket k minus 1 upon k plus 1 into x raised to 7, we denote it by equation 1. By taking derivatives of both sides with respect to x. So we get d by dx of y raised to 7 is equal to d by dx of right hand side. That is this. And now, here, derivative of y raised to 7 is 7 into y raised to 6 into dy by dx. And here, minus of this bracket is constant can be taken out from derivative. And so, derivative of x raised to 7 is 7 into x raised to 6. Now, take here y raised to 6 on that side. First, we cancel out 7 from both the sides. And take this y raised to 6 on RHS. We get this dy by dx equal to minus in bracket x raised to 6 upon y raised to 6. But the value of this bracket with negative sign is from equation 1. You say that the value of this bracket with negative sign is y raised to 7 upon x raised to 7. So we substitute this value and here we write the reason from 1. And now here y raised to 6 cancel with y raised to 6. Now x raised to 6 cancel with x raised to 6. And then we get y upon x and therefore derivative of a given function is nothing but y upon x and this is our final answer. Now we are going to see the next time from the same exercise number 1.3 and example number 5. Number 1, if log of bracket that is x cube minus y cube upon x cube plus y cube to the base 10 is equal to 2. Now this is given. Then show that dy by dx equal to minus 99x square upon 101y square. Students, now we consider given thing. That is log of bracket to the best 10 is equal to 2. Now this is the logarithmic form. Now we have to convert this into exponential form as x cube minus y cube upon x cube plus y cube is equal to 10 raised to 2. And that is equal to 100. Now take this denominator on the right hand side. It becomes 100 into denominator. So we write left hand side x cube minus y cube equal to 100 into x cube plus y cube. And now this can be written as see here 100 x cube plus 100 y cube on the right hand side. Now take 100 y cube on left hand side and take this x cube on right hand side. So what we get? 100 y cube, we write on left hand side, take this y cube on this side, it becomes plus and we write on the left hand side, it becomes 100 y cube plus y cube. And take this 100 x cube on this side, it becomes minus, but we write on RHS x cube minus 100 x cube. And now, here y cube is common, here x cube is common. And then our next step becomes y cube into 100 plus 1. On RHS, x cube is common, then in bracket we write 1 minus 100. 
after simplification we write 101 y cube is equal to 99 x cube now very simple thing here see y cube is equal to 99 upon 101 into x cube here we take this 101 on right hand side and we get 99 upon 101 into x cube we say it is number 1 now we take the derivative of both sides d by dx of y cube is equal to d by dx of right hand side that is 99 upon 101 x cube now this is our previous step now we will continue see here uh, derivative of y cube is nothing but a 3y square into d y by dx by using chain rule now here this bracket is constant so constant can be taken out from derivative and now derivative of x cube is 3x square now 3 get cancelled from both the sides take this y square on rhs and then what we get dy by dx equal to 99 upon 101 into x square upon y square students now the value of 99 upon 101 is here y cube upon x cube we write from 1 in equation 1 we get see here y cube equal to 99, 99 upon 101 into x cube so the value of 99 upon 101 is y cube upon x cube we put here that values and now cancel out y square from numerator and denominator also x square from numerator and denominator then what we get we get our final answer as y upon x now this is our final answer and now we will continue the next example number two if e raised to x plus e raised to y is equal to e raised to x plus y then show that dy by dx equal to minus e to the power y minus x now we are going to solve this example here we are given that e to the power x plus e to the power y equal to e to the power x plus y we denote it by equation 1 and now by taking the rate of both sides the rate of left hand side with respect to x equal to derivative of right hand side with respect to x that is d by dx of e raised to x plus e raised to y is equal to d by dx of e raised to x plus y now this is equal to derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x similarly derivative of e raised to y is again e raised to y but by using chain rule here we write dy by dx e raised to y into dy by dx same thing is here derivative of e raised to x plus y is e raised to x plus y into derivative of x plus y now derivative of x is 1 and derivative of y is dy by dx and now to see the next step see here e to the power x plus e to the power y into dy by dx that is the left hand side remains the same now on rhs we multiplying every term of this bracket by e raised to x plus y and then we get e raised to x plus y into 1 that is e raised to x plus y then e raised to x plus y into second term that is dy by dx and we get e raised to x plus y into dy by dx and now take this second term on the left hand side it becomes minus and then take dy by dx as a common from these two terms so we get e raised to y minus e raised to x plus y into dy by dx and now take this first term on rhs it becomes minus so we write in this way e raised to x plus y minus e raised to x students now see our next step take this coefficient of dy by dx on right hand side it becomes a denominator and we will get dy by dx equal to e to the power x plus y minus e raised to x upon e raised to y minus e to the power x plus y now see here by using one now this is our equation one here e to the power x plus y that is rhs and it shows that that is equal to e raised to x plus e raised to y this is given thing so here we substitute in numerator as well as denominator 
the value of e raised to x plus y as e raised to x plus e raised to y. So on numerator we write this and in denominator here minus sign is already here. So we change the sign of this and so we write minus e raised to x minus e raised to y. And now e raised to x get cancelled, e raised to y get cancelled. So what do we get? We get dy by dx equal to e to the power y upon minus e to the power x. Now take this e raised to x in numerator minus sign take in numerator. So we write minus e raised to y into now this power is positive in denominator. If you write this term in numerator it becomes a negative. So we get e to the power y into e raised to minus x. Here what is dy by dx now? Here base are same. Base are equal. Therefore take the sum of indices. So we write e to the power y minus x. Now this negative sign remains the same. Now this is our answer. Now we are going to see our next example number 3 x to the power y is equal to e raised to x minus y. Then show that dy by dx equal to log x upon 1 plus log x bracket square. This is also very nice example student. Here we consider given thing x raised to y equal to e to the power x minus y. So here we take log of both sides. By taking log of both sides, we get log of x raised to y equal to log of e to the power x minus y. Now, it becomes multiple. This is the power. It becomes multiple by rule of logarithm. So, y log x, we write here. Same thing is here. x minus y into log e. But you know very well what is log e? The value of log e is 1. So, here we write this is 1. And now, here we write y into log x equal to x minus y. We say we denote it by equation 1. Here we write the reason log e equal to 1. Now, by taking derivative of both sides with respect to x, we get this. d by dx of left hand side equal to d by dx of right hand side. Now, this is a function, product of two functions y into log x. Therefore, by using product rule, we write the derivative of left hand side. And now this is subtraction. By using subtraction rule, we write the derivative of right hand side. So what do we get? First function into derivative of second, that is derivative of log x, that is 1 upon x. Now second function log x into derivative of first function, that is dy by dx. On the right hand side, derivative of x is a 1 and derivative of y is dy by dx. Now, see here, take this minus dy by dx on left hand side and take this y upon x on that side. So, what we get? Here dy by dx is common, we get log x plus 1 into dy by dx is equal to, take this on that side, it becomes minus, so we write on RHS 1 minus y upon x. Now, take the cross product. So, x into 1 x minus y upon x. So, we get this. Log x plus 1 into dy by dx equal to x minus y upon x. Now, we will continue. Here, see, dy by dx equal to, take this on right hand side it becomes denominator. So we write in this way x minus y upon x into 1 plus log x. Now, dividing this numerator by x. So x upon x becomes 1. y upon x becomes y upon x here. And now denominator 1 plus log x as it is. See here, we divide every term of this numerator by this x. So we write this and we denote it by equation number 2. But in equation 1, I write here equation 1. y log x equal to x minus y. y into log x equal to x minus y. 
So what we write here? This implies y log x equal to, take this y on left hand side, it becomes plus. And that is equal to x. And now, take y as a common, y into log x plus 1 equal to x. And now this implies y upon x, take this x on left hand side and take this bracket on that side. So we get this, y upon x equal to 1 upon 1 plus log x and we substitute the value of y upon x in this equation number 2 in numerator. So we get equation 2 implied dy by dx equal to c here, 1 as it is. Now y by x equal to 1 upon 1 plus log x and here we substitute the value. Now denominator remains the same. Now this becomes take cross product. 1 into 1 plus log x, I write here, minus 1, as it is, 1 plus log x becomes denominator, now this is the main denominator, that is 1 plus log x, and now this can be simplified as, see here, 1 get cancelled, so we get log x upon 1 plus log x upon 1 plus log x, and that can be written as, log x upon 1 plus log x into 1 plus this denominator, 1 upon this denominator. And it can be written as log x upon 1 plus log x bracket square. And it shows our required answer. And now we will continue the next example number 4. See here. This is a special example for us. Now it is very important with reference to CET question. Here if y is equal to x to the power x to the power x dash 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 up to infinity now students then we have to show that dy by dx equal to y square upon x into 1 minus log y what is given here y equal to x to the power x to the power x up to infinity see here now here y to the power you consider just this power now this is a base x is the best and now this is the power x to the power x to the power x to the power x to the power up to infinity and now that is again y so we replace this x to the power x to the power something up to infinity that is by y so we write this equation as y equal to x to the power y and we denote it by equation number one mulan no aplela hi goshta nakki samjhan gaychi hai कि x to the power हे सगळं काय जे आहे त्याला आपण y मानलेला आहे आणि हे x to the power जे काय सगळं आहे त्यालाच आपण इथे y म्हणतोय सो इट इज व्हेरी इजी टू सिंपलीफाय सो वी राईट y is equal to x to the power y वी डू नॉट इट बाय इक्वेशन 1 एंड नाउ बाय टेकिंग log ऑफ बोथ साइड्स वी गेट log y equal to log ऑफ x to the power y नाउ दिस पावर बिकम्स मल्टीपल सो आवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज log y equal to y into log x now by taking the root of both sides, we get d by dx of log y equal to d by dx of right hand side that is y into log x. And now see here, the root of log y that is 1 upon y into d by dx by chain rule. Now here, we use the product rule again. First function into the root of second, the second function into the root of first. So y into the root of log x that is 1 upon x plus second function log x into derivative of first function y that is log x into dy by dx and now this can be written as take this second term on left hand side it becomes minus and take dy by dx from both the terms we get 1 upon y minus a log x into dy by dx and in right hand side we write first term as it is that is y upon x now simplify this, take cross product, so 1 minus y into log x upon y like this into dy by dx, right hand side remains the same, that is equal to y upon x. Now take this on this side, so what we get, see here, dy by dx equal to, now this is denominator, if you take on right hand side it becomes numerator, so y into y becomes y square. Now this is the numerator 1 minus y log x, take on RHS it becomes a denominator, so x into 1 minus y log x. Now here I mention this, y into log x is nothing but, see here, y into log x is nothing but log y. 
and now we substitute the value of y log x equal to log y and then we get this y square upon x into 1 minus log y but this shows our required answer and we will write in this way y square upon x into 1 minus log y and now we will continue the next type here derivatives of parametric functions see here two variables x and y when expressed as a functions of the same variables t say x equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t they are said to represent jointly y as a function of x here the variable t is called a parameter in simple thing x and y both are defined in terms of t here t is a parameter remember this thing now in other words a relation expressed between two variables x and y in the form x equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t is a said to be parametric form with the parameter t here we write t as a parameter now we consider a theorem of parametric function it is very important for us now the statement of theorem is if x equal to f of t and y equal to g of t are differentiable functions of t so that y is a differentiable function of x and if dx by dt not equal to 0 then prove that dy by dx equal to dy by dt upon dx by dt here we provide dx by dt not equal to 0 because it is a denominator if a denominator becomes 0 then we can't define so we provide dx by dt not equal to 0 now here we are going to see the proof of this theorem now given things are x equal to f of t and y equal to g of t now we write let a delta t be a small increment you may say small change in t then let delta x and delta y are the corresponding increments you may say that corresponding changes in x and y respectively therefore as delta t, delta x, delta y are small increments in t, x and y respectively such that delta t is not equal to 0 and delta x not equal to 0. Here we consider the incrementary ratio that is delta y by delta x equal to delta y by delta t upon delta x by delta t we provide delta t is not equal to 0 naturally delta x upon delta t not equal to 0 and now why we consider this because here to prove that dy by dx equal to this our target is this our aim is this our goal is this so we consider the increment ratio just we replace d by delta here and now this is known as incremental ratio because delta x, delta y, delta t, they are small increment. So it is known as incremental ratio. Now by using this statement, you will consider this incremental ratio. And now by taking limit of both the sides as a delta t tends to 0. And then what happen? Then we get limit of left hand side as a delta t tends to 0 equal to limit of right hand side as a delta t tends to 0 here provide delta x upon delta t not equal to 0 very simple reason why we provide this because it is a denominator so we say that it is not equal to 0 and now our next step is as a delta t tends to 0 then delta x also tends to 0 and therefore here we replace this delta t by delta x in LHS in left hand side on left hand side we write this limit as delta x tends to 0 
Now on right hand side we take the limit of numerator as well as denominator as limit delta t tends to 0 of delta y upon delta t upon limit of delta x by delta t as delta t tends to 0 and we denote this equation by equation number 1. Now here we say that since x and y are differentiable functions of t then we have this limit and this limit. See here limit of delta x by delta t as delta t tends to 0 that is this denominator that is equal to dx by dt by using definition of a derivative or you may say that by using Lebanese notation and here also this is our numerator limit delta y upon delta t as the delta t tends to 0 equal to dy by dt now this is exist and they are finite we denote it by equation 2 and now from 1 and 2 we substitute these two values in this equation then what we get here we get limit delta x tends to 0 of delta y by delta x equal to dy by dt upon dx by dt and now the limit of RHS is exist and finite then you say that limit of LHS of this equation is also exist and finite and by using definition of derivative it is dy by dx. So we write this and now substitute this value in this equation then what we get? We get our statement of theorem that is dy by dx equal to dy by dt upon dx by dt and here you say that where dx by dt to 0. Students, we will stop here and in the next session we will continue from the same topic. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.